You want us to be your future, and yet you stifle us at any po every point in time. Frustrated UCalgary students demanded accountability from the university Friday as hundreds gathered to fight against a fourth consecutive tuition increase. New graduate students are facing food shortages, they're going hungry, graduate students are being incredibly exploited for their labor. The research that we're doing is unpaid for. This is one of the top research institutions in Canada. UCalgary students made sure that their voices were heard as their protests took place directly outside of the room where the Board of Governors were deliberating and approved a tuition increase. Those involved saying Friday's protest is not the end and they are demanding the university give students more of a voice. He told the Board of Governors of the university that students are at a breaking point, um, that they're choosing between food and shelter and the cost of their education and the Board didn't care. They voted to increase tuition yet again. Students asking for two things, no increase on tuition and increased and meaningful consultation. The university not speaking to students waiting outside of the boardroom, but speaking with media, saying they understand students are facing inflation, but say the university is as well. But they understand that students are facing many stressors. We have a whole group of people who work and are available to students from a mental health standpoint. Uh, we always know around exams it's stressful and so we, we have those resources in place. Students say the sole consultation that took place happened in a 60-minute session on December 7th, the last day of classes. You couldn't have picked a fundamentally worse time for students to organize a meeting like this than the last day of school. Those involved saying the work is not done and Friday's loss is only more motivation to keep fighting against tuition increases. In Calgary, Julian Code, City News.